Today I want to discuss screen share view options from a webinar tool like Zoom versus virtual webcam software such as OBS. So I love Zoom just like everyone else I've been using it a ton especially over the last nine months but even with that there is one issue that I tend to have with it and that's the screen share option. So I'm going to bring that up and show you what typically happens. I'll bring up a PowerPoint presentation here and you can see what happens. I've got this massive screen that's dedicated to my PowerPoint slides and right up at the top right there's my little video window. And so as a speaker I can do all the right things. I can smile, I can gesture, I can have really high energy, I can even jump up and down and try to get people's attention, but they can barely see me in that little window there. And even though if I, if I mouse over here, I can actually adjust the size of this window, that actually is only affecting the view on my end. It's not changing the way it's appearing to my audience members. And so this can be really frustrating when you're someone like me who believes the presenter and his or her uh, body language and the way she's, he or she is saying something is equally if not much more important than just the slides themselves. So I wanna show you how you can use virtual webcam software to really change that dynamic. Okay, I'm back. And while everything might look exactly the same to you, I've made an important tweak in my setup. If you see, if I mouse over right now my video tab and I click that, right now I'm no longer just using my native webcam, which is this 1080p uh, ProStream view, but rather I've selected OBS Virtual Camera. So what's happening is in the background right now, I am running a software that's changing the view into Zoom itself. Zoom thinks it's a webcam, but I actually have much more control than a simple webcam. Again, right now it looks exactly the same, but watch what happens when I change my view. I have this really neat custom view with my PowerPoint that I have full control over and that I set up manually. And I'll show you in a moment what the software part of it looks like, but just look at what this looks like in terms of my stream to my attendees. Instead of having that tiny little window, I now have this nice bracket here so I can show my video like that. Right next to it, I've got my uh, PowerPoint slides and I still have a pretty good full body view so the audience can see me gesture and smile and all those crazy uh, emotions that I was doing before. I just love the control this gives me. Real quickly, let me just share a little bit on the types that you can leverage. Uh, again, this is that software that runs behind the scenes, allows me to basically act almost as if I'm a broadcast studio in my webcam feed. I'm right now using the bottom one. It's called OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. But there's a lot of different ones. You can use Ecamm, that one's Mac only, but the others you can use on any system. So I've also used Medicam, Logitech has one called Capture, and there's that mm-hmm one, which is in beta, but looks very, very promising. So these are virtual webcam softwares, and let me show you what that looks like on the back end. Okay, behind the scenes. To do this, I am going to bring my OBS software on screen, and I'm gonna drag my zoom view off screen for a second. I'll bring that back in just a moment. So here you can see, this is the virtual webcam software OBS. It was sitting on my other monitor uh, in the background. And these are the different views that you can set up. And so right now, I've got a preview view, and then I've got the one that's currently streaming into Zoom, the video only one. And to switch between them, I simply have to click transition there, and it'll switch my views. Let me bring my Zoom one on screen for a second, and you can see how that's happening. So here's Zoom and I'll just click transition and it goes back to that video. I click transition again and it goes to that split screen one. So I'm changing the views in Zoom all through this software rather than relying on Zoom. And again, this would work with Teams, this would work with GoToMeeting, WebEx, all the different web webinar platforms. And so let me show you a little bit more about what these uh, scenes look like. So at the bottom left you can see I've got these different scenes and this is my control over how my view appears to my audience. And so I've set up some different ones, screen share only, uh, split screen, that's what I was showing that PowerPoint earlier on, video only of course, and then I did a split screen but it was grabbing from my second monitor versus my primary monitor. So any one of these I can kind of queue up like that and then just click transition and go back and forth between them. Now I did have to set all these up so let me just show you how to set one up from scratch. So test video and then this is my source. So I have to choose where are these view, where are these elements coming from. So I'm gonna first choose display capture and I'm just gonna grab my primary monitor display capture and you can see that's my 
uh, main screen share. By default, I had it locked. You know, so if I just right click and choose lock preview, that's where I can start to tinker with the settings here. So maybe I want my screen share about this size and over here in the top right corner. And then I'm going to add a second source, which is my webcam. And I'm just going to choose add existing 1080p pro stream. And there is my webcam feed and I can start tinkering with the settings there. So if I want to have that uh, next to it or in the bottom left corner, uh, I can do that. I can have full control over that. And it's simple as now clicking transition. And you'll see on Zoom, I have that view that I just created there. That's how easy this is. Um, I'm not going to spend all the time tinkering on this, but you can add all kinds of different images, different uh, media sources. Let's see if I can grab an image quick. I'm just going to grab that background one I used previously. And so I'm going to uh, make that a little bit smaller. Great, basically full screen. And then I'm just going to rearrange the order so that the image is behind the other two sources. And there I've got that feed. Click transition and that's what's appearing in Zoom. It's so cool. There's, of course, endless possibilities with this, and you just have, um, again, the maximum amount of control over what you're broadcasting to your audience versus what your audience is seeing. So uh, don't get overwhelmed here. I know I've got screens on screens. I'm going to bring OBS off screen for a second, and I'll just go back to my video-only view. So just in summation here, there's so much control you can have still using your favorite webinar platforms, but using a third party software like OBS to stream into it versus relying on the screen share and view options that are available in those tools natively. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe uh, for more virtual meeting tips throughout the year.